for East Pool. And it's a little different today. Um, my back's been like weird. And I think it might be this chair. Or right. else it could be the way I'm sitting in the chair. Isn't so, it? see. Yes. Hope we can get like an hour in. You. Maybe two. Your Clive was field. More likely. It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. I think we're about a third of the way through the game. I would say. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. Survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here? in Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. Damn, he killed him. I insist. Kill rest. We can talk later. I didn't realize we were going to start off with a 10 minute cutscene. Are cut you scene. sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years. 
is her killing. 13 years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. And there were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us Thank you, Ediana. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. Got been clothes. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Damn, Clive. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. <coughs> if we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Um, so someone told me that this thing, what is this? The Hand of Hyperion? It's supposed to do something? I kind of want to go back and take a look at it. 
nothing up here. There's a shop, but I want to go back and look at that thing real quick. said like something like there's this looks like the one back at the hideaway which is great now but like I often I'm wondering to myself like how much of this game like is on rails versus like opening up Flesh of the world. But like, okay, I went over there. Goblin coin. What does that do for me? Nothing. It sells for like a thousand gil. But I already have not enough gil. Probably make it through this. So it's like, I don't know. I have a big problem with this in most games. But there were a lot of Final Fantasy. Like, maybe this is just. I guess this is kind of very Final Fantasy. I fear that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the. No, I wasn't asking your opinion, Hannah. I just thought maybe you have something interesting to say about like, where I could find some more equipment or, you know, anything else good. Oh, where is 
town to Willowy Keckway. Yeah, well, let me check my potions and stuff. Oh my god, man. I am always. My dog woke me up at like 4.30 this morning. Where are you off to then? Well, as you master told you. You're buying, I'm selling. Gaia Blade, Gold Excess, Battle Chains, Rook Scan, but cooldown goes away. He only has one of these, I'm gonna there you grab go. it. I can buy it. Safe travels. Oh. If you're buying, I'm selling. I want this one, so. This adds a new song, though. There you go. Ta. There you are. Got anything else for me? <laughs> well, you won't say no. Let's see, where's our goblin coin? Black blood. This should make me a few gill. Got anything so else for me? Don't have any. Don't have any gill. Come bones. back soon. Oh, so All right. So I mean, you know, I didn't have to buy anything there really. So I don't know. You. This is interesting. I like it, but those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. Let's see. Let's see some more, but... When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Excuse me. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then, the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I feel like they might. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. <sighs> if it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, 
only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Holding on. Look for the old man by the well. Find a man by far. And you're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on. Let's go and meet that bearer. Look at the puppy. All of you is the puppy. Let's go find the old man by the well. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well, people behind them. Where are you? Well, now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. What's Even unrealistic about this game and all games ah, like this that are like set in like these times is like, well? yes, that's him. They probably don't have What's a that? good. What business do you have with him? Like hygiene don't mind me regimen. Asking. So like, you're not from the capital too, probably, are you? Like, the, like her hair's all straight and everything. Anyway. Like well, they should be dirty. They have scuff marks on their faces, dirt marks on their faces. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. Things will they be all ripped the up. same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Well, the other one. Oh, I would have asked the other before I asked this dude. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. <laughs> but better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregne stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Joe. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh yeah, he's back out this way. Where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. 
I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. Uh -oh. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. There. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. I got shows us over there. Still no sign. Straight even further. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. for you so long that you finally came I'm not who you think Clive <sighs> yes pray forgive my long delay it's nothing your grace I prayed to the founder that you would come and at long last he answered Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchen? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. 
Damn, that's sad. That is sad. Sad as fuck. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. He'll be back anon. Quest complete. That should definitely be enough to get. Duh. Yeah, let me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What's the abilities? Grab you. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether <coughs> from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. this another relic of the fallen um, 
Okay, well, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything with it now, I guess. Come back. See, it kind of makes it feel like any magic here. Game, like, uh, Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the last life force. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, problems you can do this. get a thing later on. <sighs> so. Feel, I can hardly imagine what like this place used to look like before the blight took gonna, it. Oh, I, I remember. Go out later on. It was beautiful. Dim obelisk activated. Tired. I want to play for like an hour and a half, but I'm fucking tired. 35 minutes. There it is. I'll sleep. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Orbit's getting on, man. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? He's the only Go one who can well. tell me what happened. I have to know. <laughs> We're actually Where is he? pushing the story along. This Nowhere window. to be seen.
Damn it! It's like a bloody eel. What's interesting is Final Fantasy XIII is going to be anyway? 13, 13, Some 2, sort and of shrine. I couldn't get uh, the PlayStation, sorry. so I had to get You've them never been here before. Steam. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? Final Fantasy XV I have on. It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence 15. the castle's name. I have the original one. This was on where Joshua was supposed to. Uh, I think I bought it as a. Something. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. In. And listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Final Fantasy X, okay. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. She not supposed to go. I don't think. Is she not the dominant? I guess she is a dominant, but she's not the dominant. Okay. Suddenly, Stranger Things. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Of course it does, dude. <laughs> you know, this place really be a fool and ruin. It'd be kind of funny if you like walked through. Oh, ruin. I guess when you and I are caught to this, it's perfect. Find someone else. Like it was built yesterday. Oh, it's gonna be Have a fight. Have you ever seen anything like this? Torgo, get out of the get out of the middle, dude. Jill. any of this. This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. 
this this must be the fallen ruin to like before they fell. Like, It makes sense, but it just sounds silly to say. Oh, uh. If this makes sense to you, and the man None. right at the end. Boom. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Let's find the hooded man and leave. The favor of wind, gouge. Potion, good stuff. Oh, shit, I'm precision. Oh, I'm trying to counter. That was 
definitely more than some regular dodge. To run out of the way that one. Would Joshua have had to run this school? Just like, too? like what I was doing at this point. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. When uh when I got here, when I got this morning, I was like, oh that's fine. I'm okay. I'm all tired, but it'll be okay. We'll Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. There we go. That's more Let's like a 1200 gill. Perfect. Oh. Um, yeah, I woke up and I was like, man, I'm tired. And then, like, I sat on the couch, watched the TV. This won't be easy. Yeah. 
bit. I don't have that one. But I know it will cost a lot, so it'll be good to be good to sell. So. Dismantled. Fallen iron. Despite a thousand years having passed since its forging, a single blemish, scratch, or patch of rust can be found upon the metal surface. As to how it's possible, none can say, and the answer will likely remain lost forever. these creatures and why do they keep attacking us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now, I 
probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Top of the cord. One of these days I'm gonna rip this out of the thing or I'm gonna break my cord. Jill, look. Excuse me. Didn't mean to break my guys here. Some kind of mural. High potion. It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Potion. Potion. Got a box over here. And I assume we can go around that way. This place holds even more secrets than we thought. Look out! 
thing, which is this another elevator, or is it just a thing to turn on? What have like we here? Ele nope, it is just a thing to turn on. Okay. Another fallen wonder. Should make you fight another what to call it another lich right here. That bomb. But I feel like they're kind of pushing you forward in the sense that like you're probably almost done with this section. This is a pretty long. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Alright, we're back. I heard that this opened. It seems like something opened, maybe. I don't know where to go forward. Um, feel good about it. No chests or anything. Alright, so I'm assuming this is probably the final boss of this section. There's so much you can really do. It all seems to lead to this yeah. room. And look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Dominant to fire. Who 
are you? He chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Okay.
What? Wow, my first. My first game over, damn. I see. You'd help me learn my example. Give me extra. from you.
the truth of it now. You are not afraid. I am. is like kind of like decently hot fire shard use in crafting all right Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. I mean, the hooded man is there. You're literally the hooded man, bro. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want?
I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. I could drink a whole. And you haven't changed a bit. Quart of water. A liter? A liter? A liter of water? You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Uh-oh. Meanwhile... I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm... I was ready before we started the E3 fight Whoa! to stop this. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to hell. Out! No! Yes! Yes, my lord! Like her head or something, her heart. What is it? <laughs> Did I miss something? Like, let's get an active time war quick. Like, what's in the box? You go cut the. No? Like do I need to box? The meaning of life. Alright, we're on the next one. Classic and controlled icon Ifrit Ifrit. Allowing uh, access to new iconic abilities such as ignition, a fire lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the limit break gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities share with those of the Phoenix and we can form via confirm via the abilities tab. The limit break gauge. Release Clive's inner beast and some of prime effort by pressing well through. So let's look at uh, Ifrit, Ifrit channel. Oh, okay, so it's just in there. Good, 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 good. 
Um, so, um, I guess I still want that. I'll go at 6.30 something. Mm. I actually don't want that. We can upgrade my limit break. Um, that does three. So also does this. Um, I'll sweat, I guess. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all next time.